Hi, hello, it has been a while. It is so good to see you. How have you been? I am good. Thank you very much. I am feeling excited, rejuvenated, refreshed, and ready to get back into all things YouTube. I have been thinking though, I have been thinking over the course of the summer when I went, whilst I've been gone, that there are certain things about my little office space, my craft nook, this corner of our living room that I just don't really like, I just don't really vibe with anymore and uh, yeah, for me it's the feeling of having clutter behind me, there is always a mess behind me, not this, this is nice, but um, you know, my yarn shelves, they for me are a problem, I feel like when I'm editing I don't know where to look, there is just too much going on it's a lot. It's not something I've had any comments about, so maybe you guys really like the background, but I cannot think clearly when I feel like I have a mess around me, and that leads to me not being as productive as I would like, and also I feel like I can't really use my background, because then I run out of background. <laughs> so I end up not really using any of my stash. So anyway, the plan for today is to upgrade my space, both my crafting stash, shelves, space, thingy, and also the actual setup on my computer desk. Not that dramatic, I promise. I just really need a change. But I also do have a little announcement to make at the end of the video, so either skip ahead with the timestamps. You're always free to do that. I won't bite you for doing that. Or watch the whole thing <laughs> uh, to know what I have to announce. But yeah, we need to do stuff. And for any of that stuff to be able to happen, we need to take a little trip to the good old Ikea. It's Kokatil Ikea, yeah. It is, it is time for an Ikea trip. So um, yeah, let's get in the car, let's go. Unfortunately, at this point, we got stuck with the remake project as the IKEA we went to didn't have what I needed in stock, except for the small shelf I picked up. So we built a new bathroom shelf and got all that sorted out. It is the next day and we are on the road again to another IKEA. This time we went through the click and collect, so we were in and out of there first thing in the morning. Now it's finally time to build. I bought a half billy to replace my current shelves. All the other shelves along that wall are billy as well, so it will fit in better. The calyx I previously had was a little deeper than a billy, which interrupted the flow. My vision is a calmer, more streamlined look. And to minimize the clutter, we are adding on doors. Of course, the orange quality control inspector has to make his rounds. Mm -hmm. 
So before we get any further, let's have one last look at our current setup. Very messy. Shut there. Ah, okay. This is what I mean with cluttered. It's just so full of stuff. I end up just stuffing the lower cubbies full of project bags and despite this being a big piece of furniture, I can't fit all of my yarn into it. You can also see how it sticks out further than the billies I have next to it. On top, I have my beloved Sylvanian baby bunny and some of my favourite pony art. I would like to be able to see these more. I have no plan for how to efficiently do this, so I am going to go straight in and just empty the whole thing. And look at that! New Billy is in its spot, Bunny is in place and we have a lot of mess to clean up and organize. And maybe this is a spoiler for future videos, but look at all those project bags at the top shelves. Yeah, I found more projects. And now I am going to take a little detour. My sewing cabinet has also been stuffed full of random stuff for a long time and with no real system to what goes where so in order to fully organise my stash and stuff I kind of need to do this one as well. What is a redecorating and cleaning spree without a side quest? Back to the knitting slash crochet slash spinning stuff. After another little side quest to pick up a couple more of these crates, I am organising my fibre. I decided to keep all my ready to spin fibre in this cupboard and move all of my undyed fibre to a plastic tote that already has other undyed fibre in it. I keep this tote in the closet instead as I don't often go into it. I'm also splitting my hand spun from my hand dyed yarn keeping them in one crate each and I'm moving commercial yarn to the plastic totes I keep on the bottom shelf here. Maybe now I will actually feel like I can use these yarns without messing up my backdrop. That's this cupboard all organised and done. Time to tackle this mess. 
I have a bunch of different stuff in here including this make your own dowel doll which I bought a long while ago now. I want to make a Paimon from Genshin and make it as a video. Someday I will do it. For now I will move my old bujos and some stationery into the bottom tier. I occasionally reference things out of these books so I don't really want to put them in storage. Next I am going to frame this Animal Crossing painting I did of Lily, Maple and Molly. I want to add this to my wall at some point. Maybe it's a bit cringe to frame and hang my own art but I want some Animal Crossing decor and I like how this came out so. Next, I am going to be making a monitor stand for my computer desk. I have been wanting one for a while so I can get my keyboard out of the way and free up more working space but I find it hard to find one I like so I bought this cheap shelf at Ikea and I'm going to be adding some even cheaper cupboard doorknobs. This is truly a filthy little cheat DIY as I'm just <sighs> gluing them on. But I can say I have now used it for a few weeks and it's holding up well so sometimes maybe it is okay to cheat a little. And now I have a very exciting unboxing to do. Maybe this is where I need to say that nothing in this video is sponsored, gifted or endorsed by any of the shops and brands. This was all bought by me with my own money. I ordered some new lighting, two of these lead plates or like mini softbox-ish things. I haven't been quite happy with the ring light I previously used. It did something but not quite enough if that makes sense and I wanted a second source of light for better lighting quality. I also bought this little thing. It's a Razer Kio X which is a webcam and I am so excited about this. I'm at Loki Razer Fangirl at this point. My chair, headset and now this webcam are all Razer. But ah! Webcam! You know what this means? Crafting Hangouts! Eee. I am going to quickly assemble one of my lights. Trying out the different settings, I can already tell this is going to be a lot better. The next thing to assemble is one of the two items I had to go back to the second IKEA for. I bought the microphone stand called Luana Spialara as it's a very affordable alternative. It's a pretty boring colour honestly but it was easy enough to assemble and seems to do what it's supposed to do, no problem. What was the tagline again? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Brown water. <laughs> Hello Litters! Hello Litters! Today we're gonna... <sighs> Be orange. We have one more thing to unbox and build.
I took the opportunity to get something for one of my cute collections as I have been meaning to display it in my thin billy shelf all along. I ordered two boxes of a 6 tier acrylic display, one for me and one for David so he can keep his Warhammer paints in his. I'm not going to be keeping paints in mine, I'm going to keep these little figurines in it. This was another easy to assemble thing but I did need the assistance of a man because my wiggly fingers really hate holding on to small fiddly things. I moved my TY unicorns down one shelf to make room and now it is time for the cloudies. If you've been around on my channel a while, I'm pretty sure I've talked about these before. These are cloudies, a blind box toy by Mattel that was sold here in 2021 to 2022. Unfortunately, my collection isn't complete, but hopefully one day I can at least complete the series I have partially collected. They're actually really good quality and come with a bunch of accessories and the big poofy tails that are meant to resemble clouds. I went fully into these when they were out, with lots of research on the blind box codes and such. I also have a couple of factory error ones that had the wrong tail and accessories in the box. But anyway, before I talk your ear off with this info dump about this obscure blind bag toy, let me just conclude this with these are some of my favourites in my toy collection and I am thrilled to have a display stand for them finally. And that concludes our little reorganization. What do we think? If you ask me, I am really, really happy. There are still a couple of things left that I want to do. Like I want to move all of these paintings down slightly, but I also want to add some sort of lighting source, like mood lighting, nano leaf sort of thing down. On, back there, not down there, back here on the wall. So I'm not moving anything or putting anything more up before having acquired my mood lighting before we have that all figured out. But other than that, we have a lot more space without losing any storage space. And I am really happy I took the detour of cleaning out and tidying my sewing space as well, or the sewing cabinet as well. And the best thing for me one of them, is I can finally see my Sylvanium bunny. <laughs> She's just been sitting on top of the Calyx shelf for all this time and nobody's seen her except for me when I look up like that. And now I can see her. She's like peeking up behind my computer chair and I love it. And I can also finally see my little cloudies figurines and it is also bringing me so much happiness and joy because I love them. Um, you can't really tell what they are at this distance with the blur that gets in the background, but I know they're there. It's a pop of colour. I am happy. I love it. But I feel like we are slightly glossing over the elephant in the room. Look, ma. No hands. <laughs> New lights. A webcam that you can't see because it's behind you. But what does this mean, you ask? Well, I have a little, little announcement to make. Can you guess what it is? I have been talking about starting streaming for quite some time now and this all means we can get going. Yay! So streams are a go. I'm going to put up a community tab post asking you guys what times are the best for you, what times and days would be the best for you and you can of course also comment that under this video but please keep your eyes open for that community post tab. Um, community tab post uh, so we can find a time that works the best for as many of you and me as possible. Exciting huh? As for what kind of content we are going to do, I think we can do some crafting hangouts like crochet with me, knit with me with two cameras. I am figuring the two cameras out 
it is not working like it did before. One thing I did do as well that I didn't film is I have upgraded my computer as well and it is great but it doesn't do what it did before upgrade with the camera. I think I've found a workaround so we're good but um, with one overhead camera and then of course a face cam. That was a tangent, I'm very sorry but I was saying I think as for what kind of content we are going to do on stream is we can do the crafting hangouts like I said and maybe a little bit cozy gaming but I am going to ask you to please leave a vote in the pinned comment on this video for our first stream hangout what do you want to do do we want to crochet or knit together or do we want a cozy gaming session let me know your thoughts and i will make it happen but yeah that is about it for today i think um do you like what we did with with the space it is so nice and empty i love it i have air behind me it's so nice but do you like what we did i will admit i was a little bit on the fence about doing all of this as yarn in the background really does let you know what i'm all about but to me it was giving clutter and it was giving messy and it was giving brain ants so i'm stoked really and it feels so nice and I hope you like it too. But with that, I will let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, don't forget to vote for stream content down below. And while you are down there, please also leave a little like on the video as that helps me out a ton. If you are new here, hi, hello and welcome. So very happy to have you here. If you are new and you would like to keep up with what I post in the future and also keep up with the planned streams please consider clicking the subscribe button down below as well and ring the little bell for notifications thank you thank you uh, but yeah with all of that said I want to wish you a very very happy rest of your day a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you again very very soon take care bye